the podcast in which one man strives to level up his geekhood and helping you do the same one battle at a time. <laughs> now, let's get geeky with Gamer Leaf. I'm so tired. I must be like a zombie out there driving crazy but these people some of these people she's like a cyborg on her cell phone she's got like three or four cell phones to her ear and trying to pass everybody especially they go really slow especially when it rains thank goodness for daylight savings time and us not celebrating it it is really cleared traffic but i got to be the first one to get to the place i go haven't you ever seen that other people are always trying to beat me off the traffic line only to end up there just the same time i am did that sound familiar to you guys? Didn't to me neither. But, well, I guess it kind of did because that's kind of the story of my life. But also, it is also the story of Crazy Commute, a bumper-to-bumper -bumper card game that is currently on Kickstarter by Sheep Tree Studios. They did this run a while back ago, and now they're doing it again. They're about, they go through, they got about two weeks left. I'm hoping they fund. It's a really fun game. It's really cool. I played it with my gaming group, and we had a blast. It was pretty fun. I tried to play it with my kids. It's really cool. It reminds me of Milesborn, where you're the old classic game where you're trying to get a thousand miles, and you go ahead and put obstacles on people. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool, fun game. Uh, Logan Chops Reviews did a review on it, as well as Unfiltered Gamer. So both two, some of my favorites. But anyways, what did getting geeky with Game Relief think about it? Or would my gaming group think about it? Well, let's see here. I really liked it. I Even I like the tuck box. I know Logan Chops doesn't care about tuck boxes, but this one is cool. And I love the art. You got the zombie man. You got, yeah, you got the different characters. And the people who created the game actually created the art as well. So yeah, it's really fun. Like I said, it reminds me of Miles Bourne. I would add more different cards if I could but it's really fun and yeah I would definitely check it out on Kickstarter would I buy this if I had the money yes I think I would would I play it again yes definitely I will and how many leafs would I give it I guess I gotta ask myself the questions because nobody else is here huh um I'd give it maybe four out of five four out of five leaves that sounds good to me but yeah definitely check it out on the Kickstarters and then so where was I driving at that time? I was driving somewhere so I could go ahead and create. Uh, what was I trying to create? I was trying to come up with the funniest, wackiest words I could. Why was I doing this? I was at my gaming group and we were playing Yaks, which is a game previously known as Yacronyms. It's a party game for all ages. Now, this one is awesome as well, and they're on Kickstarter as well. They've got about three weeks left to go. They actually had to pull their game off of Kickstarter. Kickstarter let them pause the funding, so that was awesome. Because I guess there was a legal issue or something. I don't fully understand. But there was a legal issue with the name of Yacronyms. So now it's just called Yaks. But this game is awesome. What you do... As you roll the dice, it's, I don't know, it's like a 26-sided dice, or I don't know how many-sided. But it's got letters of the alphabet, and also on some of the dice there might be yaks. And so what you do is the, whoever's a judge goes ahead and he puts the letters, there's like four dice, he puts them in a row and picks what order they go in. And then you, the contestants, go ahead and create different acronyms to go along with it. And yeah, this is awesome. We played it on Unfiltered Gamers live stream that he does every wednesday night at seven i think it's seven pacific time i'm not sure we can go ahead and check that out but yeah definitely check out this game it was awesome we ended up getting in a three-way tie because we wanted to get on to play with some other games which i'm glad we did but this is a definitely a fun game a little hard with my nine and ten year old as some of their trying to figure out words that go together and whatnot i apologize for all the door slamming in the background uh, who knows what's going on, but so yeah, this was a fun game. I would definitely back this game if I had the money and I would definitely buy it. Would I play it again? Most definitely. You got to have the right group, I think though. And then, 
Uh, I'd give it five out of five yaks. If I could change one thing about the game, what would that be? Well, I would do something else about the judge. I don't know. The judging was a little rough for me because you could be biased or whatnot, um, and the other person wouldn't win. Like one time, somebody used Volkswagens in their thing, and I am a diehard fan of Volkswagens. They didn't know this at the time, but I had to go check it out. And this one is bad. This one is reviewed by Level Up Lovers, whoever they are. That's cool. I'll have to check them out. And then also Tantrum House, as well as our yeah Tantrum House did a review, as well as I want to say Unfil yeah Unfiltered Gamer did it too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So check those out. And it's on the Kickstarter for like I said for another three weeks. Definitely worth checking out. They even have a Yaks T-shirt. I guess so. I guess so. So check it out on the Kickstarters, and then, oh yeah, oh, applications. It's time for Adventures in Application Acquisition. Yes, you heard me right, Adventures in Application Acquisition, where we talk about an app, be it for your cell phone, your tablet, your computer, or even your video games. What should I talk about this week? Well, I used to like an app called Pocket Cast, and it worked just fine for me. There was a lot of scrambling or whatnot because I used it with Google Maps to so I could get to places where I wanted to go when I was going to work and whatnot but a lot of times it crashed on me just recently I had to get an iPhone don't worry I got the most inexpensive one it was just the same price so it's a, low, it's a really later model um, but it was the same price as some of the other ones the Android phones so I went with it and I'm so glad because now I can play my podcast in the pod iTunes app and do my Google Maps, and it doesn't kick me out constantly. Only one thing I would change about this app is when you have something set up, it goes back to play that episode if it's already on there. It's kind of weird. I don't like that because I try to skip over certain podcasts that have certain characters or are excluding certain characters. I won't give any names. But of my favorite podcast, of well, one of my favorite podcasts, which is called... It's by Alan Gerding, that's G-E-R, ding, but he does it a lot better, and he, yeah, so his, his podcast, if you want to check it out, is called Tuesday Nights, game, two night, Tuesday Nights Gaming Podcast or something. It's a podcast about gaming, and they talk about creating games and whatnot, as they are also a game developer or publisher, so that's pretty cool, and yeah, so that's what I would do to change, I would, what would I change about iTunes or Google Maps I'm not sure I don't think anything but yeah I would if you wanted to check out Pocket Cast which I really liked before it is a paid app but it crashes too much I would I would get it if you had an Android phone but not if you have an iTunes iPhone I wouldn't get it and then last but not least well we'll tell you it's time for <laughs> Kickstarter <laughs> Corner <laughs> To begin now. You heard her right. Kickstarter Corner coming at you live. Well, I guess not live, but kind of live. That reminds me. If things work out and pan out right, I might be doing one of my interviews that will be up on the podcast later on live with a creator of a game called... What is the game called? Well, it's called Flip and Finds Diner. This game is on Kickstarter. And yeah, I might be doing a live interview with them. So watch your Facebook Live. I don't know if it'll be if it'll work out. Hopefully it will. But yeah, watch out for that. It'd be tomorrow night sometime if it is. So if I find out otherwise, or if I find out whatever I find out, I'll definitely let you know. So yeah, look for that. But now on with Kickstarter Corner, shall we? Yes, 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 we shall. Anyways, let's get a move on it, shall we? Well, now I'm rambling. Now I'm a rambling man, but you've heard me ramble before. So, on Kickstarter Corner, we've got some lovely games for you. Let me go ahead and bring them all up on my computer so I can tell you quicker and better and all that fun stuff, don't you think? So, let's see here, yeah. So, definitely, here are some. We've got The True Messiah, a game of cult warfare. Dalai meets Dune. Recruit zealous followers, compete for surreal powers, control the wasteland, two to four players. It takes about 60 to 120 minutes. Let's just be honest, one to two hours. 
And this one, they are going through the April 11th, Wednesday, April 11th. Check it out. It's EU friendly. If you are, I would re wouldn't recommend it for like 14 and up. I would recommend it for 14 and up. The art's a little bit dark and whatnot. But yeah, definitely check this one out on the Kickstarters. Then we've got Dead Throne. Open world board game with mechanical market. Dead Throne, an open world board game with never before seen components and mechanics. They're double their goal. They're going for 35000 almost. They're at 67000 almost. Definitely check this one out on the Kickstarter. They still got a month to go. Definitely. It ends Saturday, April 14th. Check that one out. The It's just a pretty game overall. I really like it. And it looks like they had a couple reviewers and whatnot. So check that one out on the Kickstarters. Then we've got Dragon Keepers by Vital Lacerda and Katrina Lacerda. Hopefully I didn't slaughter that last name. If I did, I apologize. But anyways, it's a thematic game with strategic decision making and gameplay modes for both children and adults. Fun for casual and hardcore gamers. The art on this is so pretty. Definitely check it out on the Kickstarters. It's amazing. So yeah, don't take my word for it. Go jump over there right now. It looks like Dan King, who is a Game Boy Geek, did a preview of this. As well as Bored to Death reviews did this as well. So yeah, definitely check that out on the Kickstarters. Then, we've also got 5th edition. Wait, did I tell you when that ends? I don't know if I did. That one goes through the 9th of April, so check it out. And then we've got 5th edition player starter kit. A Dungeons and Dragons starter kit to help brand new players get a taste of what it's like playing Dungeons and Dragons. Definitely check this one out. They go through the... 14th no through the 12th of April what am I saying here but yeah definitely check this one out so if you're new to Dungeons and Dragons or you want to get into role playing this would be the thing for you or you need a gift for somebody and yeah definitely check this one out on the Kickstarters then last but not least from Fridge Crisis Games we've got Swords and Souls earn your escape from the underworld by fighting your former friends in this fast paced combat card game get ready to get aggressive and they're almost finishing up. Hopefully, they'll make their goal. I'm not sure. If they don't, hopefully, they'll relaunch. But they got, they're about a third way there, maybe a little bit more or a little less. They go through the 22nd of March. So, check this one out. It's a cool card game with some different looking pogs or whatnot. Check it out on the Kickstarters today. And let's see here. Let's see. The first Villages. Let's see here. Oh, this is their second card game. The first one is called Villages. And man, do I got to have it. I'll have to talk to the creator. But Villages is my kind of art. My wife always, I was having a conversation with somebody today. Who was I having a conversation with? Uh, a new blogger. I forget the name of his blog. Actually, I can tell you. That would, he'd probably appreciate the shout out or anything. But anyways, before I get there and find out. I was having a conversation with him. Uh, and he was... Well, I don't know if... It was, well, I was conversating with him. Of course I was. But anyways, his name is Joshua Worley, and he has a blog, and it looks like it's pretty cool. But anyways, on his Facebook page, he had something posted about Nintendo. It was Mario Brothers, and I talked about how I really like that art. Like the thing, And he said, what did he say? He said something about us being like old timers sitting on the, on the porch or whatnot. He, they felt old timers, but my wife always gives me a hard time. She always messes with me, saying how I'm so old because I don't care about those 3D games that the kids are into now. There I go complaining again. But anyways, you should definitely check out his blog. Let me tell you if I can. I can tell you the name of it, but I think I don't know the website. Let's see here. Yeah, definitely give him a shout out. Don't you think? Budget board gamer, I think, but it's not the one that has a Facebook page. Um, let me see if I can tell you. I can find a link to his app. And I'll leave it in there. But yeah, he's got on his kicks, personal Kickstarter page. He has a lot of cool things that he posts there. So I like that. But yeah, it's posts from Board Game, Budget Board Gamer. Budget Board Gamer. So yeah. And um, what? Well, yeah, he's got a website. I will leave a link in there, show notes for you. But check it out. He it looks like it's pretty good. Um, yeah, view this in your browser. I signed up for his email, but he does something like we do with his review. So. It's really cool. Um, can I get there? 
The post preview, let's see, post preview railroads appeared first on budget board board game budget. Yeah, here we go. Budget board game, budget board gamer. Yeah, it's www.budgetboardgamer.com, just like it sounds. So, yeah, definitely check this out. And I guess you know what time it is. Well, if you don't, I'm about to tell you, ain't I? It's time for you to get on with your lives, me to get on with my life, and we'll catch you on the flip side. But before that, just like I like to say, get geeky, stay geeky, and bring others into the geek fold, and we will catch you all on the, you guessed it, flip side, Game Relief, out. <laughs> Gamer Leaf levels up. Tune in next week to see if Gamer Leaf's luck holds up.